Hi, my name is William Vanderblumen. Thanks for joining us on our video blog or Vanderblumen log or as we call it, the vlog. We're hoping that these sessions will give you just a short bit of advice or wisdom that will help you maximize your time in your vocation. Today I'm answering the question, how do you know if a job that you're looking at will be a fit for you? All the time we have candidates coming to us saying, I don't know if this is the right opportunity for me. So we've spent some time thinking and come up with three questions that we think you ought to ask yourself if you're thinking about making a job change as you're looking at opportunities. Question number one, will I lie awake at night thinking about my work? That's got a good side and it's got a negative side. Will I lie awake at night going, I hate my job? Will I lie awake at night saying to myself, I don't know how I'm ever going to get this done? That would be an opportunity maybe to stay away from. But the other side, the more powerful side of the question is, is this job exciting enough to me that I'm going to have to be told to take my time off? Am I passionate enough about the cause that this represents and the opportunity that I'm presented with well, that I'll be lying awake at night saying, how do I solve this puzzle? What can I do better? How could we improve these things? When you find a job that keeps you up at night with excitement and passion, you got it made because at the end of the day, passion is a trump card. It goes farther than talent. It goes farther than even team chemistry. Passion will make or break your job. Will this opportunity keep you lying awake at night in a good way. Question number two, how much of my past experience will be required to, for this new opportunity? You see, in an ideal world, a candidate should take a job that's a job they could only do because of all the things they've done leading up to this opportunity. People ask me all the time, how'd you get into search, William? Well, I was a pastor for a number of years, and I had a, a list of friends that some would call diverse and others would call schizophrenic. People from all kinds of denominations and types of churches and sizes and all over the country and world. Then I went into the corporate world and worked for a Fortune 200 company in succession planning and human resource management, talent retention, all sorts of things that uh, keep a lot of people really happy. I got paid well, I worked for good people, it's a great company, and I had no passion for it. Then the opportunity came up to take what I knew about church and put it with an opportunity to use what I'd learned about people, talent, succession, and bring them together in a service to the kingdom. Man, that keeps me up at night, but more importantly, I could never do the job I have today had I not done all the jobs that led up to today. When you're looking at opportunities, ask yourself this question, how much of my past makes this future possible? Third question you ought to ask yourself as you're looking at opportunities is, what is the culture of this place that I'm going? Is it a culture of happiness and energy, or is it a culture of servitude, slavery, and obligation? Usually they're not painted in that stark a relief, but one question a candidate said to me one time really put it in clear definition. Candidate said to me, William, I am tired of just going to work to just go to work. I want to like the people I'm with. I'll put it this way. I want to work somewhere where I'm not just tolerated, but where I'm celebrated. Boy, as you look at an opportunity, think through that carefully. A lot of times looking for jobs can seem like rush for a fraternity, but when you join the workplace, well, pledge season sets in. Look carefully to see if where you're looking is a place that celebrates or merely tolerates their team members. I hope those three questions help you as you're looking at opportunities. If we can help you in any way, feel free to contact us. Thanks for tuning into the vlog, and I hope we'll see you again soon.